Hi, his nibs here, and I want to announce the arrival of, or the return of, I should say, one of my favorite uh, pen models, Monteverdi's Regatta. Now the Regatta, this is an example of one of the versions, was recently retired, uh, which left me quite distressed. This is one of my most used and uh, favorite models personally. Uh, largely because of its magnetic cap, which is magnetized uh, both for posting and for capping. To me this was a terrific uh, innovation when they came out with this model uh, a number of years ago because it has the ease of a slip cap but the security of a screw cap. Well, I'm pleased to announce that the Regatta has returned in the new Regatta Sport, available in three form factors, rollerball, and three colors, the red and black, ballpoint, yellow and black, and this is a, a nice large hefty ballpoint and in all black the fountain pen now the regatta which of course rever uh, refers to boat races usually sailboats um, is something that I haven't engaged in personally because the his nibs yacht would be an unfair advantage in the typical sailboat or even powerboat regatta. But I make sure that I keep a full assortment of all form factors and all colors of the regatta pen on my yacht at all times when I leave the palace and take her out for a spin. Returning to dry land after our all-too-brief uh, sojourn upon the high seas, let's take a closer look at the regatta. As I mentioned, uh, the regatta sport is the third generation or iteration of the regatta line. Uh, the original, uh, an example of which I have here, was actually a screw cap pen and it screwed both to cap and to post, which was a nice feature. So the regatta has always had uh, security in mind. And this was followed by the pen I showed you earlier, the second generation. Again, this came in three uh, different color version combinations. But it was this second generation regatta that first introduced the magnetic cap, which I've uh, found to be a, a real boon and uh, really makes for ease of use because of the security provided by the magnet. Um, but the ease of use of a slip cap at the same time. So I really like that they've continued this in the Regatta Sport. So the Regatta Sport coming in with black, yellow, and red has in the yellow and red version a uh, high gloss lacquer finish in the colored sections, separated by, and let's see if we can get a little closer look in this, 
uh, you'll see better photos uh, on the website. Um, carbon fiber covered with a gloss lacquer finish. It's a very, very attractive and stunning look. The clip, the cap top with the Monteverdi uh, Mountains logo, the cap band and the end of the barrel are all matte finished. And you can see that in the red as well. Now the all black version has the matte finish on the intervening panels as well next to the carbon fiber. There's a carbon fiber panel on the barrel and also on the cap. And these intervening sections are all matte. So this uh, makes for a very stealthy pen. And the first thing you'll notice when you uncap the pen is that these are shipped with the black finish steel nibs. Uh, it's a glossy black and really fits the overall look and design of the Regatta Sport. Uh, these can be removed and the chrome Monteverdi nib can be substituted if preferred. Uh, let me see, I have a Prima here nearby and this has the, the chrome Monteverdi nib. These come in three sizes which are designated as F, M, B, and 1.1 millimeter stub. Now as I explained on the website I've always found that the Monteverdi nibs tend to run a little finer than a normal Western nib. So the B to me is more like a typical medium. The M is like a typical fine, and the F is like a typical extra fine. Uh, and when you order these pens, uh, I ask that you designate which nib size you would like based either on one of those three letters, F, M, or B, or just say stub. Now the stub is a 1.1 millimeter stub, which I'm uh, very excited about, uh, having pushed Yaffa, the parent company of Monteverdi and uh, Conklin, to produce one for several years. And they finally did uh, about a year and a half ago, and uh, it's a really terrific stub nib. So these are dealing with the fountain pen. These are cartridge converter pens and comes with the converter for filling with bottled ink. And these have the relatively new threaded converters, which is another nice uh, security and safety feature so that your converter doesn't pop out while filling. And these will also take uh, standard international size uh, ink cartridges like those from Private Reserve. And the rollerball version of the pen, let me find one, that's another. Um, is about the same size as the fountain pen. And let's do a, just a real quick measurement here. This is 
not quite uh, five and a half inches posted. I'm sorry, capped. About six inches posted and approximately four and a half inches with cap held aside. Uh, the thing I really like about this rollerball is this unique, uniquely shaped grip section, kind of sinuous, and it really feels extremely comfortable to me uh, when I write with it. Uh, again, this is a matte black finish and really the same size uh, basically as the fountain pen. The ballpoint is really a hefty, hefty model for a ballpoint. And with the intervening uh, carbon fiber panels and colored panels or matte black uh, panel, it's really a very impressive ball pen and makes other ball pens run and scream away or scream and run away more appropriately in shame when they come across this beauty. So the next thing uh, is why don't we ink up one of the fountain pens and uh, see how she writes. So I realized that in the previous section of the video I mentioned about exchanging the black nib of the regatta for one of the chrome ones as an option. So let me just show that to you. I have another uh, Prima here that has a chrome nib. And it's just a unscrewing process. The nib and feed are contained in this collar, which uh, just screws right into the section of the pen. Now what you want to do first is to unscrew the threaded piston converter, then unscrew the black nib, and screw in the chrome nib if that's your preference. I won't uh, put the converter back on this one. Just want to show you what that would look like. Actually that looks quite nice with the chrome as well. I hadn't done that before. All right. For our writing demonstration we'll Put back the black nib that shipped with the pen. This happens to be a M size, which I uh, equate to a typical Western fine. And now before we fill this, I also wanted to point out that between uh, or in each end of the carbon fiber sections uh, you have these very neat bands, uh, knurled metal, uh, which really offset and make the, the design even more attractive and to my mind. Anyway, so what we'll do now is we'll take some ink. I'm going to use uh, Private Reserve Arabian Rose as that's to hand. And typically what you just do with a piston converter like this, if you're not that familiar with them, is screw down the piston all the way. Then you're going to dip the nib, feed, and a bit of the section uh, into, the into the ink and submerge it. Uh, that's so that you'll get a, a full fill of ink because it's uh, actually just filling from this little opening here. 
and you're going to wipe off the section when you finish, so that's not a concern. So if I can keep my hand out of the way, we'll just submerge that, and we'll slowly turn the piston in a clockwise direction. And you'll see that with the first attempt at filling, you can have a fairly large uh, ink bubble towards the back of the converter. So what you want to do is, while you still have the nib and section submerged in the ink, is you want to express that ink and a bit of the air back into the ink bottle. And then reverse the procedure again, and as you can see, you've gotten virtually a complete filling of the converter. So I'll just blot a bit here on a piece of paper towel or even a tissue. Tissue, I hardly even know you. Just to get the uh, excess ink off. Always a good idea before you do anything else to recap your bottle of ink so you don't have any nasty surprises. Screw the nib section back into the barrel. And looks like I can get off a little bit more ink on the section. A little more ink off of the section. And then we'll uh, see if the pen works. And my god, look at that. Ink comes out. Never seen anything like it. And I didn't, see that little blob? I didn't address the ink that tends to adhere to the bottom of any feed after you've filled it. And uh, I put this down to the pressure of filming while writing. So this is the Monteverdi Regatta Sport. Very smooth nib. And this is the M nib which I consider to be a Western fine, although all of these nibs are fine. <laughs> and uh, I usually write a quote, but I didn't prepare that at the moment for this video. So uh, just write a few cross hatches. No hesitation in flow. And there you have the new Monteverdi Regatta Sport in matte black. Yellow ballpoint. I guess I should write a little bit more of that. And if I can find it somewhere here is the red roller ball version. Very attractive and easy to use set of pens. And oh, one other thing I meant to mention, which I discovered a couple of years ago with the original. Cap 
would you ever drop something like a razor blade, which I often use for nib adjustments or paper clip on the floor? Boom. Easy pickup. In fact, don't even bother using these as pens. Just use these as magnetic retrieval devices, and we'll all be happy. Thanks again for watching. Take care.